Dear families, my name is Gracie and I go to Grant Middle School. Today is the start of a new video series called Family Support Fridays. Each Friday you will receive a three to five minute video that we hope will support you and your family during this unique time. These short videos will provide information and tips in, on topics like maintaining a healthy mindset, coping with isolation, managing screen time, some academic tips and more. These videos were, were created by Springfield Public School parents, students, staff, and community members. Hi everybody, my name is Sherry Harrison. I'm with Memorial Medical Center, specifically our Weight Loss and Wellness Center, and I've been asked to talk with you for just a few brief moments today about the overall impact of emotional wellness on kids, teens, adults too, and how this has impacted us through the pandemic. So we know that the pandemic can be full of challenges and changes pretty often. We've all been doing our best to navigate that. But as these challenges and changes have occurred, one thing that has been noticeably different for all of us is the importance of social distancing. So we know that social distancing is important to prevent and reduce the spread of the COVID-19, but that leaves us all feeling pretty lonely sometimes. We're not able to get out and interact in ways that we used to. We're having to become more creative of ways that we interact with people. And it's led to some impacts on all of us and specifically feelings of loneliness and maybe isolation. So one of the things we wanna pay attention to is that's a real thing, okay? When people are saying they feel lonely, they're just feeling withdrawn, um, it's true. We've, we've all been there this past year and we continue to try to move forward with respect to the guidelines, but we still have some impacts of that distancing and isolation feeling. So as parents, as providers in the healthcare world, as teachers, educators, how do we navigate that, right? So one of the things we want to do is acknowledge with our kids and our teens this is a real thing. Your feelings are valid. It's not made up. It's important. And we're all kind of working through these processes together. We want to be able to role model positive behavior. So it's okay to say, hey, I know that you're bummed out about this. So am I. But what can we do? How can we feel less isolated? I wonder if we could connect with someone over a video call. I wonder if we could maybe send some letters to someone or do some cards for somebody or maybe just do a phone call. So I think there's some ways that we can encourage that emotional wellness and that human connection, even within the confines of the pandemic at this point. Another thing we want to do is just encourage with the parents, please check in with your little ones. You might think they're doing great and they may be, but they also might be just waiting for that one question at the end of the day to say, hey, how are you? Because sometimes during the day we're doing okay, other times we're not. So check in with them, let them know that you care open opportunities to talk about how the day's been because that might be some lonely feelings, some anxious feelings, some depressed feelings. If it is, that's okay. Talk with them, connect with them. Human connection's important. Promoting emotional wellness is important in general, especially during the pandemic times. So please, as we continue to go forward and navigate this together, check in with your kids, check in with your colleagues, your friends, your coworkers, whoever it is, maintain the social connections, and let's just all try to get through this together. Hi, my name is Caitlin. My daughter's a fourth grader at Hazeldell Elementary. And today I'm just going to share a little bit about um, how it's important to me and us uh, for my daughter and I to have a conversation every day about how she's feeling and some of the things that I use to check in on her emotional well-being and making sure that she's feeling good and understanding her feelings and what's going on. Each morning I start the day by asking Veda um, how she's feeling today, if she has any worries or anything she's scared about. Um, sometimes it's that she's nervous about a test or nervous about a new student starting or um, anything really. But having that conversation and leaving on a positive note before the school day really sets her up for success and for a great school day. Um, at the end of the day, we like to touch on um, her favorite parts of the day. And then I ask her if there's anything she wishes she could change or if she would have done better. And these are some of the ways that um, work for us to be able to check in on Veda's emotional well-being and how she's feeling. And just, I always encourage her to 
make sure that she's comfortable speaking with me or any other safe adult about her feelings, understanding why she's having the feelings that she's having. And if she isn't, I always encourage her to let me know so that we can work through those things together. I think um, as society changes and, and our environments change and our routines, it's really important for us to talk about our feelings and understand just how important of a role our feelings play in um, our overall well-being in our day-to-day -day lives. Thanks.